has the real estate market covered. This is Real Estate Matters with Bob Gallagher. Welcome back. You're listening to Real Estate Matters here on the Money Matters Radio Network. I'm your host, Bob Callagher. I'm joined in studio today by a special panel of top producing realtors all over Massachusetts. We have Praben Christensen. Praben, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Mike Del Rose. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you. And we have a returning guest with us, Eileen Fitzpatrick. Eileen, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Bob. So we invited you all to the show today to talk a little bit about what's going on in your respective markets. Now, Praben, you cover uh, West Bar- the boroughs going in towards Framingham, Metro yes. West area. Yes. What are you seeing in your marketplace right now? We're seeing good activity, frankly. Mm-hmm. Um, there's actually a fair number of buyers that are uh, looking for good homes that are well-priced and, right. and, and well-maintained. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's surprising how many buyers there are that are ready and willing and able to buy right now. Now, are you having any inventory issues? Because we hear intermittently that there's not a lot of stuff on the market right now. Are you seeing the same thing? We do see that the inventory is lower than it should be. Mm. Um, frankly, it, it, now's a great time to put a house on the market because of that low inventory. And the buyers that are out there are serious and they're looking to buy. Right. And, and Eileen, you, you specialize in the Bolton market and the surrounding areas. What are you seeing in your, in your neighborhoods? I have to agree with Praven. I'm actually shocked by it because as a... Th- Typically, the trend is after Halloween, after October, the fall market, we Mm -hmm. really sink into a very quiet time. Uh, But there have been a strong number of homes that went on deposit uh, during the month of November so far. Wow, that's and good. shockingly for me, I, I was really taken aback by it. And it's with pockets. There's pockets of activity. Uh, the high end price range uh, of, of any community uh, actually across the state, I think, is is slow right now. We'd like to see more real buyers mm-hmm. out there. Uh, but in that mid mid range uh, and even the, the entry level range, lots of activity. And Mike, I saved you for last only because I know you're working closer to the Boston area, so you're probably experiencing something a little bit different than us. Now, you work the uh, the western suburbs of Boston, right? That's correct. Belmont, Watertown, Newton. And, and I imagine, communities. I mean, everything we've heard about the Boston market, especially those of us out in the Metro West area, we're hearing things are still going pretty much gangbusters out there. Is that, is that it, the case? It's a very active market, but it's a, it is unbalanced still. There's a lack of inventory. I think we are all experiencing that. So... Um, there's uh, multiple offers still in our marketplace and all, all across the board. And are you, are you seeing a lot of property selling for well over asking? Uh, it, it slowed down a little bit about as far as the number of homes that are selling over asking or significantly over asking. Um, but, it, but it's still part of our marketplace there. Right. And do you see more condos or is it more single family uh, housing in your neighborhoods? Uh, demand is across the board. So mm-hmm. um, we're, we're a mixed market. Uh, plenty of condos, plenty of uh, condos in two and three family homes, uh, single families, all high demand. And what's a starter home in Newton go for these days? Oh, five, 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 fifty, six. That's the beginning of the market for most single family homes. That's is, the bottom of the market. And what's that, like 300 square feet in somebody's backyard? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's typically a home that's going to need some work, uh, yeah. some updating. And, uh, but it's much different from the, uh, the Metro West market. I mean, 550. I wouldn't even necessarily, uh, well, I guess it would be kind of entry level, but entry level at that price point, you're getting quite a bit more for the money, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. I, I think I think if you're yeah. looking at 550 or 600,000 here mm-hmm. in the Westboro, Grafton, Shrewsbury, Southboro market, you, you're definitely going to get a nice home yeah. for sure. Um, the further you march westerly out of Boston, I think, Eileen, you'll, you'll say the same thing, that y- you know, you're going to get a little more house for your money. And I'm really happy to hear that things are still going well for you mike because in the past whenever the portions that are the towns that are east of us Mm -hmm. as long as they do well we seem to get the overflow of that and for myself i think that's true right now i have effect absolutely i mean i have buyers that perhaps would like to buy in mike's area um, but uh, they come to our area because they realize it's a, it's a, it's just a little bit down the Mass Pike, and right. they can enjoy the home of their dreams. Yeah, and Westboro is not even that far from from Newton. I mean, with traffic, it might as well be you know in another state. But how long <laughs> was it for you, Mike, today? <laughs> yeah, I th- I think I I made it here in about twenty five minutes. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Sure, that's yeah. not from Newton Corner. Uh, Mass Pike entrance. Uh, no, I think there's a lot of opportunity for the the buyer in my marketplace 
uh, to come out to the, the a little bit further out and get a great value. So it's it's part of the market. Interesting. I have a home in Upton that is about 4,400 square feet, and it has 13 rooms. It has three and a half bathrooms. It's in a family established family neighborhood. It has all the bells and whistles. And it's on the market for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> and you're telling me that you're getting a fixer upper in Newton. So it's all about, it really, is all about mm-hmm. the traveling time of where people need to be and how far they want to be from work. Yeah. Well, I think what we find, I- if if history is going to repeat itself, that house will sell when the buyers of the homes that are maybe just a little bit east of us realize they can't get that home of their dreams. Right. Uh, that they can't right. quite quite or, or they're not willing to compromise i mean let's face it every purchase that someone makes there is some compromise from what their dream home would be with the picket right. fence and the flat backyard and whatever right uh you know to what they actually purchase right um, it seems like everybody no matter what your price range is you always want the houses in the next range up yeah there are i would say there's always trade-offs yeah uh, whether you're it's your first uh, home at two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand dollar condo or a $1.5 million home, you're mm-hmm. making concessions. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if all of us could spend as much as we wanted on a house? Then I guess we'd all probably live in Newton. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the questions I'd like to ask you, since we have a panel here in the studio with us, uh, we get a lot of questions from uh, past customers. When's the when's the best time to list a house? You know, it seems like everybody's always saying, well, I'm, I'm going to wait till spring to, to list. Are there advantages to listing in November and December and January? Yeah, I, I would say there's, um, and it's not for everyone, but during the holidays, there's a, a couple of advantages. First of all, uh, we all have uh, visitors and guests and, and family visiting. So you're preparing your home uh, in a festive mood, and so it would show very well during the holidays. So it's it's an advantage that way. But more importantly, there's a lack of inventory right now, new inventory coming onto the market. Buyers are still out there looking but the inventory isn't coming on the market to suit that demand. It's, it's a fabulous time to take advantage of uh, an imbalance in the market. Right. And Praben and Eileen, you're seeing more or less the same thing with... I have, a, I have an uh, answer for that, to that question that, because it's a very commonly asked question that, uh, well, we get all the time, but in my opinion, the best time for anyone to sell their house is when they're ready to sell. Hmm. And what I mean by that, if emotionally, uh, emotionally and physically, you are ready to put your home on the market, why, why would you wait for four months right. when there's an opportunity, when you have a relocation family coming, uh, coming from the West Coast or from from the Midwest, and they need a house right away, and you're going to wait till May because there may be more buyers out there. It doesn't make sense to me. But on the other on the other side is is also when I say ready to sell uh, emotionally, but also physically in the sense that is your house ready? Is it looking is it looking its best? Right. Is the house been you know has the carpet been cleaned? Has it, updating minimal updating been done have the dated curtains been taken down and has the house been organized and cleaned out so but for those who want to sell their home now don't wait till february 1st or march 1st i'll 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 definitely echo that thought process i think that when people are ready i often use the analogy with people you know there are we have a book of life in front of us and there are chapters in our lives and as we get to a point maybe ready to sell our home, are uh, we physically and mentally and emotionally ready to change that, chap- that, that page to the mm-hmm. next chapter? Sometimes it's a difficult thing to do. Maybe the price isn't quite what we had hoped or had dreamed of um, based on the market conditions or, or the house condition, frankly, right. or location. Uh, things do change based upon location, let's face it. Um, Mike's location, he sees uh, a few more buyers and he sees prices going over asking. We don't see that in the further western suburbs. However, if a price is, if a house is priced properly and, and ready to market and the seller is emotional and physically re- ready to sell, mm-hmm. we see a transaction. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. And, and Bob, the, the, um, there's an imbalance right now in my marketplace, mm. a lot of town, Belmont, Newton. Um, lack of inventory. Basic economics, su- supply and demand. Mm-hmm. There's a big uh, demand in that marketplace, and if you're a seller that is prepared to put a home on the market during the holidays, you can do very well. Really? 
Well, I guess you have less competition, right? Less competition and an anxious buying public that understands that rates are low. There's, a, there's an opportunity here to, to mm-hmm. if you wait six months a year and rates are higher, that same house is going to cost you more. So those buyers are prepared to m- move during the holidays. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it, we've been saying all year on the show that waiting is only going to cost you money. I mean, prices are going up. I mean, maybe not as, as fast out in the, the western suburbs, but certainly the closer you get to Boston, the quicker they're appreciating. Uh, and then with rates going up on top of it, I mean, if you wait 12 months, you can end up paying 20% more for the house between the, the extra interest and, and the purchase price of the place. Well, I think that's true. Mike, didn't you say earlier that you thought that your marketplace had gone up in the neighborhood of 10% year over year? 10 to 15%, depending wow. on the type of property, condition, um, location, community. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Right, so if you're in a $500,000, $600,000 price range and you wait for a year, uh, that adds, what, another... Sixty, eighty, ninety thousand dollars of the purchase price. Yes, well, and, and with higher rates, Bob. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of difference monthly. Yeah, it could be, it could be the difference between getting the the three bedroom house that you want or a two bedroom condo. I mean, maybe it won't be that bad, but <laughs> well, so that's why we always, as realtors, try to encourage everyone to get into the marketplace as quickly as they can because frankly we need the first time buyer to purchase let's say the condominium so mm-hmm. that that buyer can purchase their you know their three bedroom home so that that buyer can purchase their four bedroom or a larger home or right. or retire and and so that's what moves the marketplace that's what can, can keeps the marketplace moving right now one of the things that i've heard uh, i've been hearing pretty much all year is that one of the issues with the inventory is because the the buyer that wants to move up, so the move up buyers, can't find anything to move up to, so they're not listing their house. And then the first time buyers don't have anything to buy because the move up buyers can't move. So what do you think has to happen before this is going to break open? That's interesting. I think that um, we could talk about the overall economy perhaps, right? Yeah. Just for a moment. Sure. Right. So fear is one of the big factors that keeps people from acting. Right. But if you really look at the economy here in Massachusetts, we are home to, shall I call it, the, the Fortune 1000 companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're, ho- we're home to a lot of them. And so there are a lot of people in Massachusetts that have great jobs. And I think that the, it's just a matter of saying it, that, that they're ready to right. make that move, to make that jump. Fear is a very big factor that holds people back. And I think they have to be aware of that, you know. So how do we get them to stop focusing on fear and just move? I'm hoping, and, and I won't go cr- too far into politics right now, but I'm hoping that with the, the changing political landscape that uh, companies start feeling a little more confident about what's going to happen in government. And Confidence is yeah. really the word. That's yeah. the answer. People need to feel more confident. Right. So they start parting with the cash, hiring people, expanding their operations. People make more money, wages increase, buy more houses. Well, so to that end, perhaps the best thing to do is to act. First thing to work first would be to talk to a mortgage person to see where they can wh- where they fall with right. what they have for income now, and then talk to a, a realtor and say, okay, what can we go see? It, it it doesn't cost anything to talk to a mortgage person. It doesn't cost anything to speak to a realtor and get good solid advice. That's that's a good point, Pray. But and I'm, I actually like to give out contact information. So if you're listening to the show right now, and you're looking in the Metro West area down Route Nine into uh, into Framingham. You can reach Praben Christensen. Uh, the best number for you is 508-868-5619. All right. That number again is 508-868-5619. And if you're looking in the greater Boston suburbs, uh, you can give Mike Del Rose a call. And his number is 617-923-8355. Again, it's 617-923-8355. And then Eileen, last but certainly not least... You specialize in the Bolton area and, of course, the surrounding towns. Actually, I have listings. I've done business from – I have a, my my listing that I just mentioned to you before in Upton um, mm-hmm. all the way up to Tingsboro, so along the 495 corridor. Yeah. But my specialty really is Harvard, Bolton, Stowe, Lancaster, Clinton, that area. And it's a beautiful area, and it's not just because I moved there recently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Eileen, the best number to get a hold of you? 978 779 5234. Okay, that number again is 978 779 5234. Let's talk a little bit about the high end market. So, what's happening in the high end market in, in your respective areas right now? 
I'll start. I'm, I'm very excited to uh, announce that we just recently had a nice sale here in Westboro for $1.2 million. Uh, the uh, wonderful buyers just moved up, and they're uh, very, very excited to purchase, have purchased this home. Wow. Um, That's nice. So it's stable, at least, in, in your areas. We see a lot more inventory just east of Westboro. Mm -hmm. So if you go into the Hopkinton market and the South Row market uh, in Framingham, you're going to see many more properties available in the high-end million-dollar-plus range. Mm -hmm. You don't see quite that many in Westboro. Hmm. And how about you, Mike? Well, the, the high-end market in, in, say, Belmont, uh, when you're in the 9 to 1, 1, 1, 3 range, um, that's not really the high-end. That's a, a upper end of the market, but not mm. considered high-end. Above 1, 5 is a little bit slower than the, the balance of the market uh, within Belmont. Mm -hmm. uh, in Watertown, there's just not a lot of inventory across the board. So, so it doesn't matter whether you're a first-time buyer or you're looking at a $2 million place. There's just not a lot to buy. It's not. And that's the frustrating part for, uh, I think, that a, a lot of buyers are, uh, are experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. They want to go out and look at a, a single-family home in Watertown for 400000 450000 They look at two or three, and then they're done. There's, there's not a lot else to see at that moment in time. So there's a wait for that next home to come on the market. Mm -hmm. It's a challenging market right now. Right. And Eileen, how about how about you? What are you seeing in your uh, your markets? Uh, I'd like to say that that I, I actually am disappointed with the the high end market right now in our community. There are some wonderful opportunities out there, but the, the market has been slow in mm -hmm. the upper end. And uh, every every town has a different, or every community has a different high end range. And, and what is your high end range in Belmont? In Belmont, it would be above one five. I think would be considered Prima, high end. What would be high end for you? About a million, right okay. around the million, so million two. Eight hundred thousand dollars is m middle range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yes. high end. F in in I would say it's high end in, in 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 my community, and we haven't seen any homes go on deposit in the past three months over seven hundred. So wow. it's been a little on the slow side. But I I, I I hope and expect that that will change. I think it will. I think we'll definitely see that start to change. Well, we're just about out of time. We got to take a, a break for some commercials. I wanted to thank the three of you for being on the show again. Mike Del Rose, Praben Christensen, and Eileen Fitzpatrick. Stay tuned for Real Estate Matters. We'll be back for, with more after this.